What's up everybody, Sick Eric with Sick Eric Tech back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a display comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, and the regular Samsung Galaxy S22. We're going to be comparing the two, all of these three displays. I usually do just two displays, but now we're going to try all three of them. We're going to do a display tester and give you guys an exact, an exact idea of how each one looks. And then we're gonna play some video footage, some HDR stuff for you. That way you can see the difference between all of these devices. So as far as resolution goes, you get 1440 over here on the uh, S22 Ultra. You get 1080p on the S21 Fan Edition and the regular S22, all running at 120 Hertz. Uh, the uh, S22, Ultra does have an LTPO display, so we'll go all the way down to one hertz, while the other two will go down to about 24 hertz. And uh, but they are running at uh, 120 hertz. As far as display brightness goes, they're all going to be pretty much the same brightness, as you can see right there. And as far as display settings go, they are all on dark mode, and the screen mode is going to be on vivid on each and every one of them and motion smoothness adaptive over here and then motion smoothness high on the fan edition and adaptive over here on the uh, s22 ultra so here is dark mode on all of them as well so pretty nice on each and all one of them they're all dynamic amoled displays so they're all pretty much amoled displays so let's go ahead and jump down into it shall we before we do go ahead and subscribe and click that bell icon that we get notified on future videos just like the one you're about to watch today here is the wallpaper they're all the same on each and every one of them that way you get an idea of how each one looks and as far as size wise the s22 is going to be the smaller one coming in at 6.1 inch 6.4 inches and 6.8 inches over here on the ultra so definitely different sizes you get a curved display on the ultra flat displays on the fan edition and the regular s22 bezels on here of course you could see pretty similar on the fan edition and the s22 while on the over here on the ultra they're a little bit slimmer but they're all pretty nice bezels on here they're not too big so let's go and jump down to a display tester and show you guys the differences in colors all right so here are some details as far as the specs on each and every one of them showing you each and every one that way you get an idea of the actual specifications of each display. So let's go ahead and go into tests. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a, a defective pixel detection. And this drops the brightness all the way down to 50%. So now here we're gonna go with the reds. And the greens going on over to the blues whites, light grays, gray, and dark gray. Going on over to the blacks right there. Yellows, gives you an idea of how each one looks. They're all pretty much similar. Magentas, scions, and then that is it for that one so now we're going to go into the so now we're going to go into the banding and show you guys the differences in the color effect here hopefully i'm able to capture this all nicely on here and scroll on into these brown colors and there you go and continue on with the banding. And that is it for that one. So now we are going to go into the uh, wide color gamut. Now the funny thing is about wide color gamut is that you're supposed to see the Android logo on each and one of them inside of the box or the words Android in each one of the box and that will tell you if it supports wide gamut but all of these are on vivid mode and apparently in vivid mode it will not show you 
uh, the wide color gamut on there. So in order for it to show you wide color gamut, you're gonna have to go into display and click natural. For some reason, uh, it is weird that way. I do not know why. Click natural on all of these. And now you could see that you can see the Android logo or the Android words in the boxes right there. So definitely weird that it only shows it on natural, but we're gonna go back to, vi to uh, Vivid when I play this some video for you guys. guys so what did you all think about the display qualities on all three of these displays the s22 ultra the s21 fan edition and the regular s22 all of them are fantastic devices samsung never goes wrong with their displays as far as quality goes and colors go they all pop they all have very good blacks and they all look very very good it's just the differences in sizes and flat displays uh, opposed to a curved display and of course 1440 1080 1080p over here on the other two they're all 120 hertz and brightness levels were pretty much the same on all of them so what do you guys think which one do you like the best the s22 ultra the fan edition 
or the regular S22. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. And you guys stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.